Hello RPA developers. I am Raj Kevil Ramani, certified UI Path RPA developer and welcome to today's video. In this video, we will be talking about how to trigger an automation script via an email. So the steps involved are creating an automation script uh, using UI Path and creating a bat file after this and then setting up a rule in Outlook because we are going to trigger the automation using an email and the email will come into the Outlook application. So let's begin. What we have in front of us is a UiPath script and in this one is just showing a message box with the message hello world. So I'm just gonna run this. So it just says hello world, as simple, right? After this, we have to create a bat file. Now bat file is basically a um, an executable file um, which has some uh, scripts written into it for the operating system. So when the operating system reads those um, commands, it can um, execute whatever commands that you have written inside it. Now the commands that we have in this one would be, so this is the bat file, this is how it looks. So I'm just going using, um, using notepad. Now um, it has three things into it. One is the location of the UI path uh, robot, then an argument and the parameter for that argument. All right, so I've literally made a note of that in here in a PDF file. So the contents of the bat file are, there are three parts to it. First one being the location of the uh, UI path robot. Now understand, UI path robot is different than UI path studio. They're two different application, two different executable files, .exe files. So in this, we are just going to call the uh, UiPath robot uh, executable file. Now, when we call it from the command line, the batch file runs in command line. So when we call it from the command line, uh, it accepts an argument uh, F, which stands for file, and it can accept three file formats, um, JSON, um, JSON, XAML, and um, NU package. So you can get this information from UiPath's website under docs.uipath.com and then you navigate yourself to robot here, to robot guide and then arguments description. In this it will talk to you, it will explain you all the things like uh, what's and if it's an argument, it will take what parameters and things like that. So we are concerned uh, with uh, the argument uh, F and the parameter it will take is the is the XAML file which we are going to run, right? So the XAML file would be this one, the main .xaml file, and its location is this, right? So that's the that's the parameter. In short, it will be location of the UI path robot file, um, executable file, um, the uh, parameter, the argument F and the parameter right now after this we have to create a rule in the outlook how to do that go to home under rules create a rule or or manage a rule now i've already created the rule for you so i'm just going to show you under manage rules so my rule is start application and um, so if you see here, it will, the rule will trigger when an email is sent to me with, um, with, the, with the keywords start application in the body of the email and it will run only on this computer and then it will start the application start.bat and it will make the file as red. Now why start.bat? It's because, it's because the code to run the robot and the XAML file is written in start.bat. It's a Windows batch, batch file, right? So I showed you this file in here. It, it has the code for that file is this, right? After this, after this, the only thing we have to do is send an email um, to this Outlook. So let me send an email quickly from my mobile which you can't see it's 
send this email it should come shortly so you see the new email has started the new email uh, came into the outlook application it started the bat file and that bat file has the contents this one and then based on that it runs this particular xaml file and you see this hello world message so that's about it folks um stay tuned and i'll be posting videos like this to explain and to venture into new um or uncharted territories of uipath thank you